Welcome back. And uh, joining us now live is Wale Shadari, an uh, aviation editor with the Daily Telegraph. Thank you very much for joining us, sir. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. So let's get into, you know, the conversation. Flights have resumed, you know, currently. What has it been like so far? What's the experience been like? Thank you very much. I was at the airport yesterday to witness what uh, the first um, flight out of Lagos after almost three months, uh, almost almost four months after the airspace was shot. Uh, what we experienced yesterday was highly encouraging, but at the same time, the, 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 they need to do more to ensure that they sustain the tempo. Uh, what I also saw yesterday was that um, airlines are, are ready, but the passengers are also ready, but the flow was very low compared to we uh, expected yesterday. But we believe that um, before the end of the month, people will begin to look at their travel and begin to have confidence in their travel. It, yeah. it, was, it was a positive one, although it was very low. And it was expected to to be so, being the first day. Yeah. So okay, yeah. we we hope for the best. Yeah. Hope well, for the best. Some passengers have also complained about the long wait. Uh, some of them, you know, um, have been at the airport maybe as early as eight a.m. and not take off till eleven a.m. What What do you think might be responsible for this? I, I think the Ferry Airport Authority wants to be sure of you know that people comply with all the guidelines, all the protocol. Uh, before now, the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria issued a statement that passengers should be at the airport three hours before their flights uh, and five hours before international flights. And so why they did this is to ensure that they take all the precautionary measures to ensure that they do not spread COVID-19. Okay. So I, I think it's, it will be like that for, a very, for, for some time until everything picks up. And I also want to believe that the protocol, they will, they will stand with it and ensure that uh, passenger comply 100%. Okay. All right. And I believe that, you know, eventually everything would fall in place. Uh, thank you very much uh, for being a part of our conversation. It's a pleasure having you always. We hope to speak with you again. Thank you. You're welcome.